Hello everybody, I am your humble GM. That stands for Grave Mind though. Today I'm going to be playtesting more of our Halo tabletop role playing experience. I'll have our guests here today to explain who they are and their characters. Who does Trace want to start? I am a jackal that is known by Captain Moore and he is a bounty hunter, and that's practically about it. Okay, now Dan, do you want to explain who your character is? Um, so, the ship that my grunt was on, it was in orbit of the planet that we're on. Space Pirate Jackets. Oh, shoot. The crash landed on this planet. Did I help you? I think I would help you. That, that mixes up the story. Laying down and help you. So you shot over and yeah. won't explain. Because I am just a bounty hunter. And oh yeah, his ship would be destroyed. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, I'm gonna help you, but you're gonna have to help me help whatever's happening on the planet. Okay, so you got, so Shmirnov got blew up, and I land down. The jackal, Jackal, which happens to have a vehicle. Have you ever picked what kind of vehicle it is yet? Um, I'm gonna say. It would be kind of like, do you know those super huge ships? It's kind of like that, except in a smaller form. A smaller version of the, the, the cruisers? Well, yeah, just super small, and it has a large window in the front so you can see everything. Okay, is this not is this not what you said about saying that it's simply just little stitches? Yeah. <laughs> I can it just looks like a smaller version. I stole it from a Okay, project. so this... The current planet is actually um, it is actually a moon that is going around a gas giant in the uh, the Hassion system. So it is one of these. It is the it is the planet called Midian. So you guys got met via you know you rescuing him. Uh, we do have to, supposed to have a third member, uh, which would be an elite in Cosmo. I do not know how he's in your company. Um, I'm going to assume he was on my ship. Okay, so he was a part of Captain Morgan's crew? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to say he would most likely be... Since he is not here, I'm not going to speak for his character, but he was telling Captain Morgan that he had a friend on Midian that had some interesting things that they needed to talk to him about. Yeah. So, um, after the skirmish with, I guess, uh, Smirnoff, you picked him up and you're deciding to go to a city on Midian to meet a grunt by the name of Grover. What's his name? Grover. Grover. Grover the grunt. Um, I'm guessing the city's desolate. Well, Midian used to be a, uh, well, still is a glass planet, and we do have, we have Cosmo the Second show up. So he, he came back. So you, you've reached the, the city of Minion. It's a glass planet, so there's a lot of uh, breathing regulations. Hopefully, since I don't know, you know Grunt, you may have some sort of connection with that. Mm -hmm. Some form of, of breathing regulation. We're going to assume that you have that because it isn't like a, a hazard. I just have yeah. a suit that goes over my face. Again. Okay. Well, no, I just meet with a friend and say I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, th that's what we're explaining, is meeting with a friend. Um, since Cosmo the second showed up, do you want to explain your character who happens to be an elite? Do you want to say his backstory before we meet the friend? So, say it. Okay, so. There's more. I heard Master Chief and I tried to hunt him down. Mm -hmm. And then he um, shooting me with a sleeping tranquilizer dart. And then I was put into this big tube. He gave a part of his DNA, he gave a part of his soul, and gave a part of his heart to me. Because he really wanted to be a light. So, and the friend we're meeting with helped him do that. Okay, so you're on media, uh, Midian. And um, I'm assuming that you happen to have some sort of device 
like a tablet in which you guys can talk to, uh, talk to each other. Okay. He tells you a location and says that he wants you to go to a, 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 a local noodle shop. And you're going to go and, and eat yeah. and talk about stuff. It is what a local envoy. Eat spicy food. Uh, how to put, eat spicy food? Maybe. I don't know how they Master like. Chief likes spicy food and said she gave me DNA. I like spicy food too. <laughs> okay. That's some cool lore. So you got a notification to go to a noodle stand known as the Ungoy Lotus. It is Tell a me, fusion of Ungoy and Asian cuisine. I would like to say, I when I sit down wherever we're sitting, mm -hmm. I'm keeping my hand on my pistol ready. I Just have to say today. something about my backstory. Yes. Okay. Um, I know who Master Chief is because I had a vision. Vision. It was Nicholas, and he's trying to uh, h hunt his down because he's lost. Okay, let's... Because he really wants to be alive. down. Let's focus on the game now. Okay. Okay, so you're sitting at, the, at, at this place. Does anybody order food? I will order up whatever seafood they got. That will have to be imported and made a little bit the more fish valuable. Though. But, um, yeah, because it's a you'll, black one. You'll, you'll have get some what looks like squid ink noodles. So it's okay. like a black willy noodle. With I know a, what I want to get from the noodles. Too. Like a shrimp sort of creature. Mm -hmm. um, and it, you, uh, Cosmo, do you know what he's ordering? I like Spicy food. Uh, okay. uh, Carolina Rebirth. Uh, noodles. Dang, that's awfully <laughs> detailed, so I'm guessing that's expensive. You're paying for yourself, Mister. It's, n it's not going on Mister, the chair. Uh, um, <laughs> hey, Master Chief had a money machine in his heart. Now I have a money machine in my heart, so I have infinite oh. money. Correction, Master Chief is a money machine. <laughs> <laughs> so I will get infinite money. That's why we got no playable elites. <laughs> hey, I'm playable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. A little about okay, okay, let's focus. So I'll go with some classic chicken noodle soup. Gonna get a chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I'm saying we don't happen to have chicken. We've never heard of this, but we got um, uh, Moa, which would have been the Reach bird. We have Moa. So there's like huge chunks. They could be like chicken strip size in the noodle. So they cooked it up, and Grover eventually comes by and sits, I don't know. You guys chose a table or a booth? Yeah. Or stools? Booth. Okay, yeah, you're in a booth. He goes there and says, sorry that I'm late. And you know, his high-pitched great voice. I have something to add Cosmo. to this story. They said they don't have Carolina Reaver. And guess what I buy? A, a legend hot sauce set. Over Carolina Reaper, Dragon's Breath. That's actually an interesting name. That that's a legend. It's when you want to eat your bowl in legendary mode. Okay. Let's <laughs> focus. It's, it's over Carolina Reaper, and they yeah. said this is our most finest spicy uh, noodles. Are you sure you want to try this? I said yes. Or you pull out your gun. <laughs> Okay, come on. Okay, um... No need to do that. We we got to talk. Um, yeah, again, you're eating the food, and he's going to say, it's like, I've seen a lot of... Uh, I don't want to do the voice. Yeah. High pitch, though. We've seen a, we've seen a lot of uh, odd activity on a, on a fellow moon out, out there. There seems to be a lot of Oni activity, which Oni is the, the, the United... It's the people, it's always the black ops that cause trouble in these games. Lock. Lock was Oni. He says, we've seen a lot of that. And, um, <clears throat> and he says, and I want you guys to investigate. And he looks around real skittishly and he says, um, to, to Cosmo, he says, Yes, I finally have you. So, no. He looks to Cosmo and he says, can't really talk here, but uh, if you go to my apartment um, tomorrow, he says, I can discuss more. 
Okay. I'm going to say how much money we're talking. Bold right in front of him. Um, I guess it would be persuasion. Oh yeah. Plus it's two. So go ahead. No, you want to roll a twenty-sided die. So go ahead and get one. It's the biggest. Thirteen. Mm. Um, kind of dumbfounded with the idea of money. Um, so I don't even know what's going on here. Um, he says, well, I guess I can give you uh, uh, three hundred credits um, to help. Deal, no taking back. Just slap down my hand. Deal. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do I go to his apartment now? Um, tomorrow, right? So, yeah, it's tomorrow. So first of all, you guys are gonna go. Um, I swear, fuck with everything I do, real fast. You can go ahead I and disperse. You guys can go back to your ship. Um, where you guys could actually try to uh, do some shopping. I'm gonna slurp up what I got right now. And then that you accidentally surf up one Carolina Reapers new and then you're like, ah! and and you actually figure out you like spicy food. That well, that's up to his character. Yeah, you can't tell him to do stuff. So what I. After I'm done surfing stuff up, I'll talk to you too. So what's the game plan? Mm, I want to hear over here, guys, this game play and so I get more sense of the game. Okay. So what is our objective right now? Talk to that guy tomorrow, which I'm guessing I have a gut feeling that he would be dead by but, tomorrow. But I have to talk to the, the guy in the apartment. Do you both? <laughs> do you guys have to go too? Uh, they only said Cosmo because I'm Cosmo. Um. So, um, I, I'm thinking go around the shop. I would like to check out this. Yeah. No. I really you did say that you were gonna. Uh, I really, kind of want to know what the mission I was. Really you did say. I really want the guys to stay uh, guard by because it was kind of suspicious that he. Didn't have Carolina either. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a so guard me because I think he has a gun because I saw a gun in the corner of my eye in in his I, kitchen. I'm keeping my hand on my pistol ready. Well, because we need the same guy. See, on if you saw a gun in the kitchen, it should be fine because even Smirnoff will say that authentic. Uh, Angoy cuisine normally gets cooked via plasma pistol. <laughs> that we, would be we, cool. we 